Welcome to Lola's Frugal Life Podcast. If you're on a mission to be more frugal with both your time and money, you're in the right place. In this podcast, we talk about topics that help enhance living a frugal lifestyle. The goal is to save time and money where we can so that we can use the rest on what matters most to us. We talk a lot about both time and money management so that we can waste as little as possible on both. We do this while also embracing a progress over perfection mindset. If that sounds good to you, then please stick around for the latest episode right after a few quick words from our sponsor. Hi everyone, welcome back to Lola's Frugal Life Podcast. This is my weekly meal plan episode. Each Wednesday, I share with you my family's meal plan for the upcoming week. You can find this meal plan on my website at lolasfrugallife.com with links to any of the recipes that I mentioned in this episode. I do rotate a lot of my meals regularly, which is what helps me keep a meal plan going and makes my life a lot easier as far as grocery shopping and getting something on the table every night. This week's meal plan starts on Saturday, January 20th. Um, This Saturday, I'm going to be trying a new recipe. It's called Roast Beef and Pan Gravy for Beginners. It's from allrecipes.com. It's made with, um, what's the meat that it's made with? Uh, Shoot, I'm trying to see where it says here. Oh yeah, top round beef roast. And then it has like mushrooms and butter and beef broth and some other ingredients and seasonings. Um, I've never made this before, but it sounded really good. So I'm going to give that a try. And then as a side dish, I'm going to make spinach with garbanzo beans which is a really quick, easy um, stovetop side dish where you kind of just cook up some uh, garbanzo beans or chickpeas and then you mix in some spinach and it's got like some olive oil and some seasonings in there. So that kind of goes together well and I thought it would go good with the roast beef. So that's for Saturday. For Sunday, I'm going to be doing pork chops with sauerkraut. Um, The recipe I have is from Simple and Savory and basically I'm just doing... Um, pork chops with sauerkraut in a pan. The recipe does call to add apples, but we're not doing the apples. We're just going real simple, just very simple pork chops with sauerkraut. And then I'm just going to do some frozen vegetables on the side with that. For Monday, I'm going to be doing cheesy crispy chicken. I don't have a link to share for this, but on my website, it it kind of explains how to make it. Um, It's just a really simple chicken dish where you take chicken breast and you dip them in milk and then in um, crushed up Ritz crackers. And then you put them in a baking dish and top them with cheddar cheese um, and then just bake them in the oven covered with foil. It comes out really good. Um, And then I'm going to be making Sarah's rice rice peel off on the side, which is from allrecipes.com. And then again, just some frozen vegetables, whatever I happen to have on hand. For Tuesday, I am going to be doing um, Chipotle night. Tuesday's our Mexican theme night. So this week we're doing Chipotle bowls. I just make some grilled chicken or um, broiled chicken and some um, black beans and some rice and put out some avocado and salsa and cheese and sour cream and everyone just kind of makes their own bowls however they like it. For Wednesday, we do a um, seafood meal usually on Wednesday. So this week we're doing easy shrimp vegetable stir fry. So I do have a link for this, which is from allrecipes.com, but I don't actually follow this recipe at all. Like I've said before, when I make this recipe, it's more just a placeholder for my meal plan. So I remember what I'm making. I just buy a bag of frozen um, stir fry vegetables and use that. I don't use all the fresh vegetables that are listed in the recipe because I'm looking for quick, usually during the week, and frozen vegetables come out perfectly fine in a stir fry. So that is for Wednesday. For Thursday, we usually do either soup or we do uh, breakfast for dinner. We're doing soup this week. I'm trying a new recipe here again um, for soup, which I don't normally try new recipes that often for soup. I've kind of been rotating through the ones that I typically make, but um, I was looking for a new one. This is uh, instant pot soup. It's instant pot Italian wedding soup. So this recipe does call for meatballs. So for the meatballs, I'm going to be making Chef John's Italian meatballs. My plan is to make them the day before on Wednesday um, and then just be able to add them to the soup when I make the soup in the instant pot because Thursday I go grocery shopping, which is the reason why I do Um, either soup or breakfast for dinner on that night to make it easy. So I don't want to be spending a ton of time making meatballs. So I figured while I'm making the shrimp um, stir fry the night before, 
I can get those meatballs prepared and then just have them ready for Thursday's meal. And then Friday is the last meal on the meal plan. So this Friday we are doing um, hamburgers. We do that every other Friday. So I just have some ground beef. I just make it into patties and cook them up on the stove. And then I'm going to do a can of pork and beans and some oven fresh seasoned potato wedges, which is from allrecipes.com. It's a really um, simple potato wedge recipe. You don't peel the potatoes, you just wash them, cut them into wedges, toss them in a Ziploc bag with some olive oil and seasonings, and then just bake them in the oven and it comes out really easy. I like to put them in the oven first before I start making the hamburgers um, because they do take a little while to cook. And then that way, when they're done, hamburgers are done and the meal just kind of comes together. So that's it for this week's meal plan. I hope this motivated you to get some of your own meal plan together or give you some ideas. Uh, Like I mentioned at the beginning of the episode, this, this can be found on my website at lolasfrugallife.com and all of the links to the recipes that are mentioned in the episode can be found there. So that's it for today. Thank you so much for listening and I will see you back here next week. So thank you for checking in for this podcast episode and don't forget you can always email me with any questions or suggestions at lolasfrugallife at gmail.com. You can follow me on Instagram and Facebook at lolasfrugallife and you can find a blog post for most of my episodes and definitely all of my meal plan episodes at lolasfrugallife.com. You can also join our private listeners group at facebook.com slash groups slash lolasfrugallife. And if you enjoy the show, please make sure to subscribe on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, YouTube, or wherever you listen from. And I would love it if you would screenshot the show and tag me on Instagram so I could see your listening. Also, if you can please take a couple of seconds to rate and review the podcast, those ratings and reviews are what help the show come up better in search results so that other people can find this podcast. So that will really help me in growing my audience. So that's it for today. Thank you so much for listening and I hope you have an awesome day.